Welcome everyone to today's edition of the Tuesday Toolbox. I'm Nancy Allen and we are joined today by Desiree Hansen, uh, who's with Moffitt Cancer Center. So Desiree, what is it that you do at Moffitt Cancer Center and how many years have you been there? So I've, I've actually worked at Moffitt Cancer Center for approximately seven and a half years and I'm the Supply Diversity Manager. Wonderful. If someone is interested in doing business with the Cancer Center, what steps should they take? So I'll first recommend that they visit our website at moffitt.org forward slash supplier opportunities. Once on the site, we just simply ask you to register your business with the Cancer Center. Then the second step following registration would be to um, discuss your business with our, our buyers in the procurement department. On the site, there's a list. I know this is the one thing that our Cancer Center does is put all the information on our website, but there's a list of all the buyers with the categories that they procure on behalf of the hospital. So if your company provide printing services, you would contact the buyer that is responsible for printing. Mm -hmm. And basically what you're doing is introducing yourself, hopefully setting up a meeting and providing them with your capabilities or a brochure. And then the next step is uh, working with that buyer and developing a relationship. And hopefully that buyer is gonna connect you with the decision makers that they support within the organization. So that's the second step. And then the third step I would recommend is registration is one thing, talking to the buyers is second, but third, what you need to do, whether it's on a quarterly basis, you need to follow up with that buyer. Uh, continue to stay in front of them via email or possibly having additional meetings, sending them information, whether it's a newsletter or something about your company, what's new, what's going on. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that information uh, is something that they could also share with the end user and you never know opportunities can come about because you're staying connected. Mm -hmm. And how often are you supposed to register? Do you do that annually or one time? So we ask suppliers that are interested in doing business with us to register one time and only if something changes within your company. For example, you moved, there's a new sales rep or something like that. That's the only time we ask you to go ahead and uh, submit a new registration. And tell us about the, your role as Supplier Diversity Manager. How do you help small business owners? So um, I, I certainly um, probably biased to this question because I truly believe that uh, one of the successes is working with your Supplier Diversity Manager because we are your number one advocate throughout the institutions mm -hmm. that we serve. So with working with the Diversity Manager, for example, myself, one of the things I do is I actually bring in suppliers, I talk to them, I get to learn a little bit more about their business because I feel if I'm educated about what it is that you're doing, mm -hmm. then I could better uh, market you to the end users. Mm -hmm. And so um, we, we sort of do that. I provide advice regarding how they can continue to market themselves throughout the institution. And also um, one of the other things I think that is key is as they're going through and navigating the system, they always have someone like me to ask questions in case they hit a stumbling block. So I think the role of a diversity manager, supply diversity manager is so key, uh, especially for new and small businesses as they're, you know, trying to gain access to a new company. Okay. Great. Once you get the business with the Cancer Center, how do you maintain that business? We're looking for partners uh, to do business with us. So yes, you are a supplier, but we see you as a partner serving the same mission that we have. So we expect you to be on time. We expect you to deliver on time. Mm -hmm. We expect the quality that we're buying because we truly operate at that level. We provide top tier quality for our patients. Mm -hmm. And we expect in that relationship that they're transparent mm -hmm. and they share any challenges so we could deal with it ahead of time. We expect suppliers to tell us if there's cost savings Maybe we're using a particular item that they're selling, but then there's an, a replacement that has the same quality, the same value that they could talk about, or more innovative than what we're doing. It's so important that suppliers maintain the business because if they don't um, work at it, guess what? Their competition is sitting just two minutes away from them, mm -hmm. right? So they always have to be on top. And so we look at those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for listening, and if you need more information like this, don't forget to visit our website, womensbusiness.info, and check out our Tuesday Toolbox uh, series. Thanks. Thank you.